The ambience of the beautifully decorated African Hall of the International Conference Center, Abuja, for the wedding reception of Chief Osasunwen Ibinidion and a heart throb, Nathaniel Oguche, came to life as the couple danced in with the admiration of their guests. Former President of Nigeria, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, and his amiable wife, Patience Jonathan, wife of former Vice President Aminatiti Abubakar, former Senate Presidents David Mark and Pius Ayim Pius, Governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, Governor of Abia State, Okeze Okpazu, former Governor of Delta State, James Ibori, families and friends of Ibinidians and the Oguches gathered to celebrate the newly wedded couple. In his remarks, Chairman of the occasion, former President Goodluck Jonathan, advised the couple on the need to be tolerant and quick to resolve misunderstandings in order not to give room for grievances. He described the marriage between Osasunwe and Dinidion and Nathaniel Oguche as a unifying factor that should be emulated. And I'm always happy when I go for marriage ceremony and when the bride and the groom come from different states. Because in Nigeria, one of our greatest problems is unity. The bride from the Niger Delta, our own daughter, and the groom from the Middle Belt, our own son. So this is the kind of handshake across Niger that we encourage. So the marriage will bring not just a two state and then we sit together, but will bring Nigeria together, the north and the south. Wife of the former president, Patience Jonathan, observed the cutting of the wedding cake as the couple performed their first marital responsibility. Parents of the couple grilled their guests in their dancing steps with the newly wedded. Grandchildren of the Benidians were not left out of the occasion with special appearance by Nigerian musician Davido. Prayers and words of advice were offered by some dignitaries as the couple began the journey of conjugal bliss. The union between Osasu and Nathaniel would blossom. It will help the country. No marriage is a bed of roses. In the first institution created by God, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden. When those affairs come, when those tribulations come, they should stay united. Tolerance. Uh, in everything that uh, they go through in their marriage, they should be tolerant of one another. God's peace, blessing, and fulfillment of their most discreet wishes. The power of love, and I wish uh, Nath and his uh, wife Osasu the abundance of God's love in their household. With that, you conquer virtually every challenge that will come their way. Like the Biblical saying, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. The wishes of many here is to see the love displayed by the couple radiate in their newly found home. Dominic Eyemese, ITV News, Abuja.